हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम सृष्टि तिवारी हियर सो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस नेक्स्ट मेल जेनेटिव यूरिनरी सिस्टम डिसऑर्डर दैट इज हाइड्रोसील इन दिस वी विल सी द कंटेंट व्हाट वी विल डिस्कस इन दिस क्लास सो वी विल सी द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ हाइड्रोसील डेफिनेशन कॉजेज एंड रिस्क फैक्टर्स क्लिनिकल मैनिफेस्टेशन टाइप्स ऑफ हाइड्रोसील सील डायग्नोस्टिक इवेल्युएशन मैनेजमेंट कॉम्प्लिकेशन ऑफ सर्जरी कॉम्प्लिकेशन ऑफ हाइड्रोसील एंड समरी ऑल्सो so we will start with the introduction uh, hydrocele it is a fluid filled sac it is a fluid filled sac around a testicle fluid filled sac around the testicle and swelling in the scrotum it leads to swelling in the scrotum and nearly the 10% of male are born with the hydrocele means it is a congenital disorder next in this picture as you can see this is a normal and this one is abnormal here this in the scrotum you can see the accumulation of fluid around the testicle so definition of hydrocele is hydrocele is a sac filled fl with the fluid that forms around the testicle that we have already seen that is a fluid filled sac around the testicle that is hydrocele and we can uh, also known uh, hydro is related to water or fluid hydro means water and fluid and seal is related to coelom or cavity so it is a accumulation of fluid into the cavity or around the testicle in this picture you can see this one uh, this one is the healthy testicle and this one is affected with the hydrocel so in this the that light gray matter that you can see that is the accumulation of fluid has taken place around the testicle next we will see the causes and risk factors there are mainly two causes and risk risk factors are there first one is in baby boys and second one is in older males so we will uh, discuss one by one in baby boys hydrocele can develop before birth so how it can be when uh, we will see the how the testis is used to descend we will see in the next slide in this as here you can see when the conception of baby boy in the mother's womb is there so the testicle will be lies in the abdominal cavity just uh, near by the kidney it will be at the 7 week of conception and when the 12 week of conception it will descend or it will travel to the groin area and before birth of 4 to 6 week means before 4 to 6 week of birth it will descend to the scrotum so how it will descend from the kidney near by the kidney from the abdominal cavity it will travel to the inguinal canal here, here it may be inguinal canal from the inguinal canal it will comes through the processes vaginalis from the processes vaginalis it will come to the scrotum or it will descend to the scrotum this is the normal phenomena <coughs> so here the we will discuss about the communicating and non communicating hydrocele so non communicating hydrocele is that when the testicle is used to descend through the processes vaginalis as you can see in this picture so this will be closed after descending of the of the testis to the scrotum uh, processes vaginalis will be closed and the fluid will be accumulated in the scrotum this is known as non communicating hydrocel and the communicating hydrocel is that when the testis testicles used to descend through the processes vaginalis into the scrotum so this will be patent or it will remain open so it will allowed the fluid to come into the scrotum so it is known as the communicating hydrocel next we are going to see the older males is having 
hydrocele how they used to have the hydrocele mainly they used to get hydrocele results from the injury or with the inflammation into the scrotum and inflammation that can be caused by the any testic uh, infection may be in the testicles or it can be caused by any sexually transmitted infection or due to the torsion of the cord or vast difference or may, may be the epididymitis risk factors are injury or inflammation to the scrotum infection including uh, by the sexually transmitted infection or the babies who are born prematurely have a high risk of having a hydrocele this is the clinical manifestation or signs and symptoms heaviness in the scrotum will be there due to the accumulation of fluid around the testicle patient will feel the heaviness in their scrotum painless swelling will be there one in one or both testicles sometime pain or will also be there due to the inflammation when the cause of hydrocele is inflammation then at that time patient will have the pain and swollen uh, scrotum will be there and swelling uh, are might be smaller in the morning time and larger later in the day next we are going to see the types of hydrocele so the types of hydrocele are mainly divided into two first one is congenital second one is acquired so congenital are uh, again divided into three first one is vaginal hydrocele second one is infantile hydrocele third one is hydrocele of cord acquired is divided into two primary hydrocele and secondary hydrocele we will discuss one by one first one is vaginal hydrocele first one is vaginal hydrocele as in this picture you can see fluid in the tunica vaginalis this is the tunica vaginalis tunica vaginalis is a pouch of serous membrane that covers the testis it is a serous membrane pouch it covers the testis so fluid accumulate in that area only and it will not extend to the cord and it will not communicate with the peritoneal cavity so this is the vaginal hydrocele next we are going to see the infantile hydrocele so what happens in that here the accumulation of fluid will be the in the tunica vaginalis as well as in the processus vaginalis it will extend to the inguinal ring but it will not go to the abdominal cavity it will not go next we will see the hydrocele of cord hydrocele of cord here the <coughs> it occurs when the sac closes means the processus vaginalis will be closed but the fluid will be accumulate in the vast difference this is the hydrocele of cord so next we will see the pictures of all that through that we can differentiate all type of hydrocele first vaginal hydrocele here the fluid will be accumulate into the tunica vaginalis only and in the congenital hydrocele that will be the accumulation of fluid will be the into the tunica vaginalis as well as processus vaginalis and it will go to the perito it can go to the peritoneum cavity and it can extend to there and infantile hydrocele as we have already seen here it will be below the inguinal ring only and here the fluid filled fluid will be filled only the vast difference or in the epididymis through that we can differentiate all type of hydrocele the now we will see the acquired that are two types primary hydrocele and secondary hydrocele primary hydrocele is mainly big in size and tense cyst will be there and a trans transumulation transillumination positive transillumination means when the emission of the right light 
shine or light wave on on the scrotum will be there then it will reflect the light means the whatever the fluid is inside the scrotum it will reflect the light so it is the will be the positive and defective absorption of fluid means whatever fluid will be the uh, will be in the scrotum so absorption of fluid will be the less and the palpation of the testis will be difficult because this hydrocele is big in size and most common in middle and later is later life secondary hydrocele is small in size loose cyst will be there transillumination will be negative means here the reflection of the light will not be there and excessive production of fluid here the defective absorption of the fluid was there and here the production of fluid will be the excess and test is easily palpable because it is a small in size and most common in middle and later life next we will discuss about the diagnostic evaluation diagnostic evaluation first one is physical examination in the physical examination mainly the doctor used to examine the scrotum by the seeing only the doc uh, 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 the scrotum will be the uh, larger or bigger in size or tendon is will be felt by the examiner or testis may be uh, sometime testis may not be felt and next one is the transillumination this we have already discussed in this picture as you can see here the emission of the bright light through the scrotum is there and the reflection is there of the light through the fluid whatever filled in the scrotum or around the testicles third one is urine sample urine sample only, uh, will be uh, sent to the lab only to detect the infection means the hydro cause of hydrocele is infection or any inflammation next is ultrasound as in the picture you can see this is the testis and this bigger one is this is the scrotum and the fluid is filled into the scrotum this is the hydrocele fifth one is blood test through the blood test also will be sent to only detect the infection next we are going to see the management so uh, surgical management is the permanent management of the hydrocele first uh, surgical management is inguinal surgery second one is scrotal surgery third one is sclerotherapy or needle aspiration we will see one by one inguinal surgery so why it is known as inguinal inguinal surgery because the surgery is used to on the groin area that's why it is known as inguinal surgery surgery involves making a small incision in the in the groin or inguinal area and then the drain of the fluid from the uh, opening into the that uh, catheter will be inserted into the scrotum and the fluid will be drained and after that the whatever the incision has been that will will be stitched next we will uh, in this picture as you can see this is the inguinal her hernia this this is the complication of uh, uh, we can say hydrocele means when the processes vaginalis will be the pain patent so the whatever the abdominal content or abdominal part will be there it can come or push into the scrotum or to the inguinal canal this is the hydrocele next to surgery is scrotal surgery scrotal surgery is mainly uh, avoided it should be avoided the patient who is suspicion with the underlying any malignancy means any patient who is suspicion with the any type of malignancy that person should be avoid the scrotal surgery and in the scrotal surgery mainly the excision or aversion suturing of the tunica vaginalis tunica vaginalis as we have already seen what is tunica vaginalis it is a uh, serous membrane around the testis testicle through that the in incision used to made and the fluid used to drain out it, mainly it will be in the case of non communicating uh, type of hydrocele next one is sclerotherapy or needle aspiration 
needle aspiration is the alternative of the surgery uh, inserting a needle into the hydro uh, hydro seal the withdrawing the fluid as here you can see in the picture needle aspiration is a commonly performed on men who are having the high risk of having the complication during surgery means it is an alternative of the surgery no that's why it is a uh, it will be uh, preferred for that patient the per person who is having the complication for the surgery or complication during surgery in some studies it have shown that the person a recent study the men 29 men in their early 50s means in their 50 age aspiration sclerotherapy corrected the hydrocele 84 percentage means it is a more successful surgery in, uh, in the most long lasting repair it is a most long lasting repair with a much lower hydrocele recurrent rate this uh, is a complication of surgery we are going to discuss Injury to the vas, vas difference can uh, be the complication of the surgery of the hydrocele. Injury to the urethra can take place and injury to the testis or, as well as to the epididymis. And reactionary hemorrhage. Reactionary hemorrhage means the hemorrhage uh, or bleeding can take place after, within the 24 hour after surgery. That is known as reactionary hemorrhage. Infection can also be the complication of surgery. Sinus formation and recurrent hydrocele is also complication of hydrocele or surgery. Some complication that is general complication that we can say. Infection of the tu tumor can take place uh, by the hydrocele. And inguinal hernia that we have already discussed as you can see by, because the patent actors or patent uh, processes vaginalis. And injury to the spermatic cord and structures uh, nearby areas can get injured uh, at the time of surgery and reoccurrence is uh, reoccurrence rate is also high uh, if the sur surgery is happened so the reoccurrence of the hydrocele can also takes place and bleeding scrotal hematoma will also be there and uh, genito uh, femoral nerve injury uh, can also be the complication of hydrocele Next one is uh, wound infection means the uh, at the suture side the wound can uh, takes place or infection can takes place. This is also the this is also the complication of hydro seal. Next one is summary in the introduction that we have seal, seen that this is the fluid filled cavity and definition it is also the fluid filled sac around the testicles or uh, swelling in the scrotum will be seen causes and risk factors that we have seen uh, it was divided into two as for baby boys and for the older male men and the clinical manifestation that we have seen swelling in the scrotum and tenderness will be there and the types of hydrocele that we have seen main, it was mainly divided into two congenital and acquired uh, congenital and acquired we have uh, discussed uh, uh, by uh, that we have discussed and the diagnostic evaluation that we have seen in the diagnostic evaluation physical examination and urine test transillumination and the blood test and the ultrasonography that we have seen in the management mainly the surgical management that we have discussed so scrotal surgery and needle aspiration we have seen and complication of surgery we have discussed some complication was like reoccurrence can be or uh, infection can be there Thank you class.